guys, so today um, I went to the Bloggers Ball, um, hosted very kindly by Scarlet London um, at District London in Piccadilly. Um, oh my god, I probably had one of the best days ever as a blogger. Um, I've never felt so appreciated, so welcome, um, and I've had, never had so many people kind of come up to me and just talk to me and talk to me about their interests and their passion and what they actually do. I think that's what blogging is all about. It, it is all about showing off your passion showing off what you're interested in and showing off exactly what you sh you want to do in your industry. I think a lot of people have started to take blogging quite seriously, you know, there's loads of fabulous kind of bloggers out there who make a heck of a lot of money out of it. But there's people like me as well who don't do it for the money, they just do it because they're passionate about blogging, they're passionate about writing, um, taking good pictures and just kind of being welcome into a bit of a community really. Um, for me it's pretty much a side job, it's not what I do full time. But I generally feel like I have the most amazing time whenever I go to these bloggers events. I've just come back completely excited, completely inspired. And that's why I felt like I should kind of do this video, why I still still feel like that, if you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, but anyway, I just wanted to show you um, a few, well not a few, I got a heck of a lot of freebies while I was there. Um, I'm not trying to promote any of these brands by the way, I just wanted to show you guys what I got from that blogging event because I think... Um, I think there's a bit of a mystery surrounded by blogging events, especially when there's so many YouTubers and so many bloggers out there who go out and go abroad and go have these fantastic kind of trips with companies sponsored by different brands. Um, I've never been sponsored by a brand before um, and, you know, it might be something that I'll do in the future and I'll be quite open and honest about that too. But I just wanted to show you what kind of things you get from these blogging events, um, the kind of conversations I had with people. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let me show you what I got. Um, one of the companies that they were there was, was called um, Lipivir, never heard of them before, but they are basically a company that specialise in cold sore prevention. Now I've been lucky enough never to have cold sores myself, um, but what they do is they've got a bit of almost like a lip balm kind of product, um, which you can pretty much apply, let me get it out. So this is what it's called, um, if you suffer from cold sores, um, I totally sympathise with you. Um, so what you do, you apply the product um, underneath your lipstick, so you put it on almost like you would a lip balm or a lip primer or anything like that, and then you just apply the lipstick on top. Um, I thought that was quite clever because I think sometimes when people do have cold sores, um, they do feel like they can't wear lipsticks because they'll just get those, I don't know, infected or contaminated or whatever it is. So I thought this was quite a nice little product that people can do. And along with that, they also gave me some lipstick. So they also got, I'll oh, rustle away in my bag, um, quite a few Rimmel lipsticks, so they gave me um, a, quite a few different shades um, and I'm going to try them out and I'll let you know how I find them. I love Rimmel lipsticks, I mean they're just brilliant, they're so good just to be able to just shove them in your handbag. Um, so yeah, so I'll try these out and I'll let you know how I, how I got on with those. Um, next up, oh my god, so <laughs> funny story, um, while I was actually in there, so this is called the Lascombe Juice or whatever it's called, um, while I was actually in there um, I was just getting so thirsty. I mean, this bloggers event was completely packed to the rafters. I mean, I've never seen, in my whole life, I've never seen so many bloggers and turn up to an event like that and just fill it all up. And I think Scarlett's done such a wonderful job promoting it that people were generally so psyched to be there. And I think everywhere you went, there was just a queue to even talk to exhibitors at times. Um, and I literally, towards the end, I was just like, oh my God, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this. Um, so as I was walking past this woman, um, she was like, oh, would you like a drink? And I was like, oh, please, please, please. And she just gave me a bit of a, you know, one, like, you know those tester little shot glass thing that you get sometimes. She gave me some lemonade in that and I was like, okay, that's really not enough for me. So she was very, very kind and actually let me have a whole bottle. So this is the Lascombe um, Raspberry Crush. It's almost like a sparkly raspberry juice, I guess. Um, really, really yummy. Totally what I needed at that time. Um, and then I went to went to this brand called um, Just Beauty UK. Um, I think they're a site that kind of sell like loads of different pretty products. I don't think this is just what they do. Um, and they had quite cute little bags. This is the bag that it came in. And inside it they had... Oh, 
made loads of goodies. Okay, so they were talking about um, while I was there, they were they were do they were talking about all the different beauty brands that they worked with. But one of the things I'm really trying to promote was this idea of this nail spa. So it was almost like um, I can't even remember what it's called now. Terrible. Um, but it was almost like a bit of a nail spa that if you get gel nails now, I don't get my nails done at all. Um, but if you do get gel nails done at the salon, this is something that you can do at home. So if you want to check that out, you're more than welcome to. So they were giving out. Um, Miley, that's the brand. So Miley was the brand, and they were basically um, talking about this LED lamp, which dries your nails within within she said within five to ten seconds if you use gel nails or anything like that, which I thought was pretty cool actually, and it was quite lightweight when I picked it up and when I tried it out. So from them, they gave me a invisible bobble. Bobbles are always useful. Um, I've actually never tried using an invisible bobble. I'm always quite worried that my all my hair would just get tangled inside the little springy bits, but I don't know, I'm trying it out and see how it goes. Um, gave me a couple of couple of nail varnishes. Check out the colour on that. Wow. Bit crazy. I don't think I'll be using them, but yeah. Really nice of them to do so anyway. Oh, they gave me a purple um, nail varnish. Um, Miley Nail Fell. I think this was actually amazing. I think she, trolled, she was trialling it out on someone else, not on me. Um, but I think it would be quite cool to kind of just do my nails. When I'm out and about. Um, a lolly. Everyone needs a lolly. And then, last but not least, um, a Carmex lip balm. I love Carmex lip balms. I think if you suffer from dry lips, um, and if you really have a problem with that, then definitely want to kind of try it out. I also went to these guys. Oh my god! Okay, this bag's got pretty much a bit of everything in it because I was at that point where I had too much in my hand. Um, I went to this um, beauty brand. Well jewellery brand I think um, which specialise in doing these wristbands and they're not like normal bracelets they're almost like these long bands that you could get which then you could just twist onto your arm and then turn it into a, a bit of a bracelet um, I love jewellery I love wearing jewellery I think they just, they're the perfect addition no matter what I'm wearing even if it's just a white t-shirt and jeans I will still have jewellery on um, I'm constantly wearing necklaces and earrings and you know you name it I do it really um, so they had these um, they, they had they had they were giving out um, all this kind of information about all the different things that they actually did actually did um, they also had a bit of a competition so what you had to do was post a picture of you guys just wearing I've actually lost where the actual bracelet is which is terrible um, but yeah if I find it then I'll show you um, another brand that I was looking at was this thing was this brand called the handbag spa um, I don't know if anyone's ever ever heard of this, but one of my pet peeves, right, is you spend a fortune on these handbags. I mean, I mean, come on, let's face it, they're not cheap. And most of the time, like, I'm really good with looking after my bags. But you know when you're, like, on the tube and, you know, you're, you're wandering around, you're going to work, you're picking up things, dropping things. Sometimes they do end up getting damaged. You might get a scratch or, you know, sometimes someone might spill something next to you or you might spill something. And it just creates an awful stain, especially in something like Safiano leather, like the bags that Michael Kors are made out of. Um, I hate Safiano leather. I mean, they look great in terms of the bag because they're quite durable, so they're less likely to scar and etc. etc. But I just hate the fact that the minute something spills on them, like, they just become scarred for life. That's it. No one can touch them. Um, so these guys basically have... Um, and they'll go into bacterial wipes for your handbag. So what you need to do is literally just rub it onto your bag as you're walking around. Um, if you're someone who's quite prone to having problems with stuff like this, check these guys out. They've given me quite a few wipes, so I think that's, all, that's what I'll be doing on Saturday. I'll be wiping down my bag. Um, and also, and then they also gave me a sample of their um, their cleanser as well for, for the actual bag. So it's almost like a liquid cleanser, so you can massage that into the leather and then um, then clear it that way. Um, another brand that I spoke to were these guys, and they're called Bravura London. And I, the woman was absolutely lovely. I mean, she was so so sweet. She was so happy to talk to me about her brand and what they did and how they did it. Um, and I think they what she creates is this um, almost like facial oils, so oils to help combat loads of skin problems, but ones that actually can help with things like acne. Um, I've spoken quite openly about my problems with acne with my skin. And um, she said to me that I could try this out, which is a sil silicolic acid, um, which everyone knows kind of is meant to be really good at helping with acne. But she said it was almost like an oil. So you applied it to your skin, left it on for 15 minutes, and then just washed it off. So that, I thought that was something that I could probably try as well. Um, and then also, oh, also, she, gave me this, she also gave me this brush. 
always need a makeup brush for whatever reason. I think this will make it quite a good highlighter brush. Um, and then, oh my god, so a <laughs> while I was, after I spoke to this woman, um, I wandered across and found this other stall which had, had which just smelt of chocolate. Like even before I got to the stall, like, I could smell the chocolate a mile away. And I so literally was like, yeah. I think I need a sugar fix now. I'm at that point where I need sugar. Um, so I ran up to the store and um, they, there were these lovely people talking about this brand. And it's called the Seed and Bean um, Chocolate Bar. Um, if you guys haven't heard of these, they, um, ham they are handmade in England. And they are basically um, selling dark chocolate. Um, they're completely vegan, dairy free. Um, which is absolutely fantastic because I really struggle finding chocolate like that and it just tastes so good I think sometimes when you have dark chocolate you know you get that weird bitter or dry aftertaste but this stuff perfect no problems whatsoever um, so yeah so I really enjoyed kind of tasting test, testing and trying those I literally have a million bags um, and then I went to Batica um, I don't know if you guys are aware of Batica I think if you're Asian you pretty much know Batica because for some reason or another in India people love using Vatica um, with good reason actually I mean I've been using their coconut hair oil now for about a year maybe I want to say and oh my god it's just absolutely amazing I mean my hair used to break and dry out all the time like I used to be really prone to split ends so I went to the Vatica store and I spoke to the woman about Vatica and I said how much I love the product and I think she was quite surprised that I knew so much about it but um, I just I just really love the brand anyway I'm not promoted by them by the way but um, when I went there I was talking to her about my skin complaints so one of the things I mentioned was was that because I'm, I'm growing my hair out I mean this is probably drastically long I don't even know if you guys can see sorry I'm looking in the mirror to see if you can see um, it's, it's my hair's it has grown a heck of a lot than it, the way it used to be and it's, I purely put it down to putting hair oil in, in, into my hair pretty regularly but um, when I spoke to her about, my, about the issues that I had with my hair she recommended this now this is their black seed um, hair mask and she said that what you have to do is basically wash your hair so shampoo it and then put this in and then leave it in for 15 minutes and then kind of rinse it out so I thought I'll give it a go and see if it helps with the drying situation um, because I do like their products and something else she also gave me was this um, it's the Vatica Dermo Domo Viva um, body lotion. She said that some, it's something new that they're trialing out. Um, this is their saffron um, body lotion, and she said it's meant to be really, really good for your skin um, and kind of help kind of hydrate your skin, especially when it's when it's kind of the colder months. So, something else that's kind of worth trying out. So I will definitely do that. Um, and then, oh god, I haven't even got to the end of the first bag. And um, what I did was, okay, so I've got these tote bags. Now, when I was there, they were giving out these tote bags, but they were being given out by WD, the hard, the hard wear people. Um, and um, I literally just took like three or four just to kind of shovel my little bags in because I literally ended up with a million. Um, one place I also went to was these guys, um, the Total Beaching Holidays. Um, they are a brand that specialise in purely kind of beach holidays and going away um, to beach destinations, of course. Um, and they also gave me some sun lotion while I was talking to them. And um, they're actually they were actually running a competition as well to win... Um, brand sponsorship from them and um, so I also entered that so see how it goes um, so I also did that um, also I, was, I found this brilliant brand called um, Bon Vita UK I think I want to say was it Bon Vita UK? yeah it, they're called Bon let me find the card Bon Prix <laughs> so funny okay <laughs> from these guys called Bon Prix um, UK and they are basically um an affordable fashion brand um, and they were running these competitions where you could do like a lucky dip and win something so I won lucky dip um, and then I oh my god this is what they gave me look <laughs> it's brilliant okay so it's um it's a pineapple but it's actually a cup so you can drink out of it how cool is that okay so they gave me one of those and then they also gave me this beautiful scarf oh how lovely okay so that, those are two things that I got from them and then you should see the way I'm surrounded by all the stuff at the moment. It's actually hilarious. And then I went to oh, also I went to these guys um, on the dot. Um, again, a very very clever brand. And what the idea behind it is that you can get anything delivered to you, but like on the dot in the sense that you could it could you can give them a time window. So not even like you don't have to wait for a whole day for it, not a whole morning, not a whole afternoon. You can just say, okay, I'm going to be home between five and six. I need it between five and six. And they'll pick up the stuff from wherever it is and drop it off to your house within that hour. So, 
How cool is that, really? Um, but yeah, but I was got chatting to them, and I was just talking about how fantastic their brand was, and they gave me a few goodies. Oh my god, what a pretty tote bag! I mean, I haven't seen one like this in ever. I think Closet London's one of the brands that I actually work for, so it says Closet London on the bottom. But um, but yeah, but they gave me one of the tote bags. Um, lots and lots of candy. Who doesn't love candy? And yeah, that was it basically from them. Okay, so next I went to Face Matters. Um, Face Matters is a skincare brand. It's an anti-aging skincare brand. Um, and I got spoken, to, got talking to the lady, and she was really, really nice. Actually, she was just talking about how she's she's a skin specialist herself, um, and she was doing some research into skin and how it develops as you get older and the issues that it faces. And she came across this um, this this ingredient which is basically an organic silicone um, which helps plump up the face and um, make it still look just as young and just as fresh. I mean her skin was amazing so I think I would believe her on that and she gave me a few bits. Um, she gave me the Face Matters um, anti-aging skin care cleanser which was really nice of her and then she also gave me a sample of their hydrating morning moisture. I assume it's almost like a moisturiser for the morning. Um, one of those as well. Um, but yeah, she was absolutely lovely. And then I went to the jewellery box. Um, the jewellery box are such a nice brand. I mean, if you haven't come across their stuff and you like quite delicate jewellery, um, they, what the way the woman was telling me about it was she was saying that they're almost like a mid between a high end jewellery product and something that you could buy in like Topshop. Um, and but she said that their stuff it's still got an element of silver or gold or whatever in it. So it means that they don't actually. Um, so their stuff doesn't actually go green after a few months, which you do normally find that it normally does. Um, how cute is this box? Look, it's got a little peg and everything. Okay, let me open it and then I'll show you what I got from them. Sorry, I can't get into it. And the one was so lovely when she was telling me about this. Because she's generally really loves the product. I think sometimes when PRs actually love the product and they talk to you about it, you're more likely to believe them. Oh wow, okay. So, what she gave me was this lovely pendant, if you can see it there. And she also gave me one of their rings. Look, so pretty. I don't know whether it's coming up on camera or not. But, um, but yeah, something that I'll definitely be wearing um, and trying out. Then I went to, okay, so, you remember when you were like 13, 12, 13, 14, whatever it is, and you were at secondary school, and it's almost like middle school, I guess, if you're American, um, and you were just one of those one of those kids, you know, you're in the locker room, and you know, with all the girls, and the girls are just spritzing themselves in perfume, and it was just before, you know, you could actually afford buying, like, anything expensive or high-end in terms of perfume, and, you know, all the girls would be just be around, and they'd be spraying themselves down with impulse, you know, acting like it was the most beautiful thing in the world, um, and then one girl would just come out with this glass bottle of perfume, some of you guys probably recognise this, and if you're old as me, you probably will. Um, but check this out, it's the So Kiss Me perfume. I mean, I used to love this perfume when I was at school. I remember mum buying me one, you know, they, they weren't ever the most expensive thing and things in the world to buy. I mean, this is what they look like now. I can't even remember what the bottle used to look like when I used to buy them. But I mean, they just smell so good. Mm, just absolutely beautiful in terms in terms of a scent. Um, they still remind me of just being back at school and just try wearing it back then. So I thought that was just pretty cool of them to have that. And then they also had um, their deodorants as well. Now I had no idea they did deodorants, so they gave me a sample of a couple of their deodorants. And that's those there. And then she also gave me oh, a couple more samples of their perfume. I actually didn't know I was given these, so... That's pretty cool. So that's those two, and then that one there. Very cute little bottles. Something that I'll kind of look forward to trying out. That was so cosmetics. Um, I also, before I actually went to the Bloggers Ball, um, it's not because it was a surprise and somehow they guessed my name. They No one guesses my name. Um, they had um, this competition where Toad Diaries were doing this competition where you could win a diary of your choice. So you could basically go online, go on their website, create this diary. Um, and it could be anything you want. So it could be a notebook, it could be a diary. Um, I've kind of got loads of diaries for this year already. So I've kind of opted for a notebook instead. And I asked for this notebook, which was personalised to my choice. What's great about them is that you can actually create your own diary um, and you can personalise it from colours to shapes to sizes to the amount of types of paper you want, um, how good you want it. And they basically 
oh my god that's perfume so strong <laughs> they basically um, create the diary for you print it and send it out to you so I got my diary created and this is what it looks like how cool is that so this is a customized diary and if I take the cover off you'll be able to see what I created now I didn't create a diary like I said but I wanted something with my name on it so I basically created um, a diary with the name of my blog and my website and then on the back I also printed um, where I actually got where I actually got it as well because I thought it was a nice little memento um, from going to the bloggers ball um, the inside is just pretty much lined paper um, but again like I said you can choose what you want so it could, could have been anything really on the inside and um, that's just what I happened to choose so thank you Toad Diaries I absolutely love that um, oh my god okay so <laughs> another little story full of stories today aren't I um, WD who do the hard drives um, were at present at the event and they were talking about their hard drives and talking about how amazing they were and I went up to them and I was like I know how amazing your hard drives are I mean I've been using WD hard drives for years and years I am completely obsessed with them I'm constantly taking photos I'm constantly um, out and about and going away and you know taking pictures and videos and everything else that I've been doing long before I started up this YouTube channel um, and I was just telling them how much I loved the brand and you know how much I loved the fact that their hard drives are so reliable um, that you know I've never had problems with them corrupting or not working or anything else like that um, and they said to me that well if they had these coasters at the bar and they were like well if you flip over a coaster and it's got a golden star on it you win a hard drive so I went to the bar area I'm um, obviously I don't drink but I just thought let me just have a seat because I was like literally dying towards the hut halfway through the event because I was just carrying so much stuff around with me and I thought why not let me just try this stuff out and see um yeah see if it works so there was one in front of me so I just kind of half-heartedly flipped it over and what do you know there was a golden star um they weren't all with golden stars before you say it by the way I was literally very lucky to win one so I won myself a WD hard drive very very cool and um, will be very very useful with all the vlogging that I do on a daily basis um, so that was that and then I went to um, this brand called Jodie Bell Couture now it's a funny story because I was literally near them and I kind of wandered across while I was waiting around for other, other brands to be free so I could go talk to them and I got talking to this brand called Jodie Bell. Now, I was looking at their clothes first, and oh my god, the clothes were just absolutely beautiful. And I think, I'm Muslim, so the problem that I've got a lot with summer clothes is that a lot of the time, they are mostly sleeveless, or they've got cutouts at the back, or they usually involve me having to wearing, wearing some sort of t-shirt or cami or something underneath, which in the summer kind of defeats the purpose, like you want to just be able to wear something and you just wear it. And... I just I looked at their clothes and seriously they had maxi dresses, they had jumpsuits, they had you know short dresses, whatever it was. But everything had sleeves on, nothing was too booby, and I just thought, perfect, like this is what we need really. And I got talking to their creative director actually, he was absolutely lovely. And I was just telling him about how much I loved the fact that this brand was just so wearable. Um and it is ridiculously wearable and I think this is definitely something that I mean they've given me a twenty percent off voucher but this is definitely something that I'm going to try out because I just think it's awesome. I can't believe that they gave me that. But they also gave me um, gave me one of some of their key rings. So they, they also create things like bags and accessories and that kind of stuff. And they gave me some of their key rings. So something that definitely is always useful. I thought, thought that was quite nice of them. And then... What else am I at? Oh. And then my last bag. This is a very long, the long, long, long haul from me. My last bag, um, I also went and found this brand called Chin Up Mask. Um, if you're someone who is getting a double chin um, or struggles with having a double chin, then they, they have these masks and what they are are these cloth masks. So you basically wet your face, stick it on, leave it on for 30 minutes and the woman promises that you can actually get two centimetres off your chin. I'm not 100% convinced by this, but um, well, it's a free face mask, so can't really go wrong. It's something that I'll try it out, and I'll let you know how I get on. And then... Oh, sorry, remember I mentioned that strap that strap um, bracelet? Oh my god, this is so pretty. Okay, so this is the strap bracelet. So they come, like I said, in one big long... Well, it's clipped together at the moment, but you know, they come in this one big long strand. And then you just put it on as a bracelet. And there you go. And then you can just wear it however you want. 
and they cut they do like loads and loads of designs. I mean they were literally everything from diamondy ones, you know, the ones that just were twisted string, that kind of stuff. Um but they've got loads of those so do check them out. Um they're called and they're called Boho Betty. And then last but not least, you'll be glad to know, I went to this brand called Monin. Um Monin are apparently the ones who supply the chocolate syrup, which I was very excited to find out, at Costa. Now I love Costa um hot chocolate. Um, and over the over Christmas, I go a little bit cuckoo and basically drink like a gallon of Black Forest hot chocolate before it goes, um, because normally by January they discontinue it. Um, but yeah, but I was just and I was talking to you know and the woman was like, well, that's our syrup, you know, they're using our syrup. They use the hot chocolate and then just put some of their Black Forest syrup in. So guys, a little bit of a tip, Monin are the people that create the syrup for them. So this is the stuff that goes into your lattes your hot chocolates, your whatever else that you get from Costa. So definitely check these out. Um, they gave me their chocolate cookie syrup and I'm definitely going to be drinking this very, very soon. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that was a lot of talking from me, but I just I was so excited and so psyched by the bloggers ball that I just had to tell you guys about it before I did anything else. And I literally I haven't changed. Look, I'm still in my clothes, um, and I haven't even cleared up the mess around me. So I'm going to get on with that now. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please, please, please do subscribe or give me a thumbs up or give me a like. I've got lots and lots of videos coming up um, in the near future. I um, hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye.